Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Y'all, this is the second high school that's been dealing with racism within the past week. Now, I now a week ago I was talking to you guys about what happened in um in Georgia when black students were suspended and because they they want to protest against racism after a pep rally when all the white students waved Confederate flags around the school. Now, this school, this incident happened in Florida, in Uly, Florida, which is a suburban part of Jacksonville, when um, two two football players, high, black high school football players, were suspended because he's confronted a guy who's seen a racist video, um, and it sparked a lot of controversy in that high school. So, y'all, let's go ahead and play this um, um, news clip, and then I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. On the 10 o'clock news, the Uly High School football team showing solidarity for teammates who were suspended. Parents say the players were suspended after confronting the classmate who shared this video. Same kid wearing a KKK hood walking these hallways today. Where is the protection for our kids and the outward racism that we're dealing with? That's the problem right there. And here's that video that was shared. It appears and shows two students who were using racial slurs and one even wearing that white hood. Uh, and news for Jack reporter Renee Ben and I went to Nassau County where a demonstration was planned during tonight's homecoming game. Newly <laughs> high football players walking onto the field at Friday's homecoming game. <laughs> The two players leading the team holding white jerseys in the air. It's the gear of two of their classmates who were suspended. <laughs> Parents of the students say they were defending themselves after being targeted because of their race. No one deserves that. It is 2021. Nobody deserves that. And until people start screaming, nothing's going to change. Melissa Ricks tells me her son and other black students at Uli High were sent this video. It shows two students using racial slurs, one of them even wearing a white hood. Enraged. Enraged. I've never felt rage like this in my life. In my life. To know that this video was sent directly to my kid and half of my babies are on this football team. Do you know what that feels like? The Nassau County School District confirmed with News 4 Jax that this video sparked a fight when some of the students confronted the teen who shared that video. The district sent us a statement saying in part, disciplinary actions consistent with the district's code of conduct have been given to the students involved in the altercation and in sending the Snapchat video. Many parents are not happy with how this situation is being handled, saying the students seen in the video were not disciplined, only the student who shared it and those involved in the fight. It's hard to watch when you feel like we're protecting someone who who have malicious intent and granted some kids in the wrong thing, but there's no protection for them. Rick says the issue is bigger than suspensions and football games, and that the community and school need to take a stand against racism. second high school that's been involved with racist situation within the last week. Now, I reported to you about a week ago that in Georgia, um, that, you know, there's a lot of black students were suspended after planning a protest against racism in their school because these white students decided to fly a Confederate flag around the campus during their pep rally. Now this situation, see, ever since when they decided to take all the black history out of these schools and act like things didn't happen in those times, incidents like this are happening. And ladies and gentlemen, when as a parents have to decide what can we do to the student, to the students that was responsible for this. And you notice that the principal ain't saying anything. The administrator ain't saying anything. And I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised that the school board ain't saying anything either because they don't want to have no controversy on those high schools. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when is this going to stop? You know, they're targeting our kids now. And they're acting like that, oh, that the KKK didn't happen or uh, white supremacy didn't happen or lynchings or murders or black people didn't happen. 
and they take these st stuff out of these schools so that they acting like their history, black history, didn't even happen at all. Now, we I, I already demanded in Georgia that people need to protest in supporting these black students that have been suspended or playing a protest against their school for allowing these white students waving Confederate flag that's offensive to black people everywhere. Now you got two high school students in Uly, Florida, in Uly High School, got suspended because confronted the people that sent in the video in the first place. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is getting out of hand now. It's getting really out of hand. Two high schools within the last week is dealing in with racist, uh, racism in their schools. And it's time to call these people out. Now, I told y'all, excuse me, y'all. I told y'all that the principal in, in, in the high school in Georgia need to be fired. Now, I'm demanding another principal need to be fired right here in Uly High School because he should have stepped in and say, no, we're not going to have this. These white students should have been either expelled or suspended. Not the other way around. Now, the fight, however, the thing of it is that there's so many racial tensions in high schools now that what can a person do? What can parents do? If the principal ain't doing a damn thing, if school administrators ain't doing a damn thing, then what can the school board, can the school board do something? I don't know because it's still white supremacy in, around school boards, principals, and teachers. So it's time to call these people out. Y'all let me know what you think about this. I mean, this is getting out of hand now. This is the second high school in this country that dealing with racism within a week. I wouldn't even be surprised if more high schools like this is, is dealing with this and not even, basically not even called out or in the, being in the local media yet. But it's coming. And then it's, it's the government's fault for taking the black history out of these schools. And I told y'all, when that happens, they're going to do something like this. And they think it's okay to do something like this. And it has to stop. Y'all let me know what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lion's Den signing off. Deuces.